Uh, let's see. So want to know? Uh, wait. I so want to know a life hack I just did. My Microsoft Rewards has points you can earn from doing things on Xbox. I just redeemed twenty dollars and got the Alan Wake Remastered Edition for twenty ten dollars. Yeah. But your meat, your meat basket. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure this is the same janitor from Control. Oh, actually, wait. Yeah. Um. Hello there, Saga Anderson. Hey, Buzzy. They won't make the man burst. Even the Swedish name. I must. Uh, anything good on the jukebox? Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only Prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers, old gods of Asgard. My pals, the Birkene Vikings. Birkene. Um, I'm looking for the Andersons. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. Um, were you in the band? band? Minak? No, no. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared a stage or two. She will need the witch's cabin key. Well, anyway, uh, Laos, I was gonna say that, um, it's possible the janitor is more than meets the eye. You didn't get to those parts in the game, um, where it's kind of like, imagine, um, it, it, it kind of reminds me of, like, there's this, there's this old anime, well, actually, I can't even say it's an old anime, because it keeps on getting rebooted. Uh, there's this anime called Tenchi Moyo, which has been, like I said, rebooted several times. And, like, one of the characters is, like, this super hyper genius uh, scientist who, um, who her room is basically, she just makes, like, she just makes a closet door frame, a door to an alternate pocket dimension, and that is her room. Because, again, she's a super mad scientist. But only she can open up the door and go to the pocket dimension. For everybody else, it just opens up to the closet. Well, there's, like, these bits, um in that anime where she'll be in her pocket dimension room with somebody else and then this other character who is kind of a moron uh idiot will just show up and they're like hey what are you guys doing and the character is always like how did you get in here there's no way you can get in here only i can open up the door and she's like ah, I, I come in here all the time and they just like come and go as they please the janitor in control is the same way. There are sections in the Federal Bureau of Control where you're, again, there'll be warning signs all over the place of like, don't go in here, you'll get lost, you'll never return, don't do this, you can't go in there, don't do this, don't go there, don't go there. And you, as you were playing the game Control, you'll be going into this place where there's just monsters everywhere. And then after you've like barely held on to your life by a thread, and, you're, uh, uh, and you'll turn the corner, and the janitor's just, oh hey, how you doing? And they're like, what are you doing here? It's like, I just, I just, I just clean up where I need to. I'm just here to mop. And you just like you keep on running into the janitor, and he's just like, he's never in any danger. He's always in complete control of the situation wherever he is. So that's one of the reasons why I say, like, he might just be a guy or the janitor might be. I mean, it's possible the janitor himself is one of those, like, weird items of power himself. Like, one of those supernatural, like, other dimensional entities. It's, it's hard to say. Um, he said we shared a stage or two. In the army, we call war in theater. He was fighting alongside his bros. Old gods of ours are... It's very possible. It's very possible. That's th But that's my point. Even in the game... Um, okay, even in the game Control, he says things like that. Where you just go... Are you just a janitor or are you something else? Okay, wait. Are you Rose... I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see your name tag. Are you Rose? 
Yes, so you are Rose. Are you the Rose from the first game? You said I've been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident? Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. It's useless. Okay. I need to stop the story. Uh, why didn't you mention Tor was Mandy hurt? Man Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? It's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. Okay. So now there has to be a AH American Horror wait, A H T I game? An H D I American Horror? No. Wait. Oh, old no. Oh, an Ati. Tag nabbit. Sorry, Saga. That area is for staff only. I I realized what it was, and it's embarrassing how long it took me. <laughs> Okay. I'm so accustomed to the flashlight being on. Uh, ooh, bolts. Okay, and other stuff. Uh, I guess we'll check this out. Oh God, museum and hall of fame. Find the key. Oh, darn it. And bunch of books, and it's a nice little library. There doesn't seem to be anything in it, but okay. And then Pat. The government built a bunker I shouldn't here interrupt World him. War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker. It's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and electronic cigarettes. Ridiculous. The future is... <clears throat> so, the teens would drink there. Do other stuff that isn't appropriate content for you listeners at home, but the bunker has a tendency to flood, especially during the winter. In the 90s, a, a group of teens went down there one Saturday night and got a little drunker than usual. The teens noticed one girl, Nora Hesberg, was missing. They figured she just went home. When Nora's folks didn't find her in her bed the next morning, they called the police. The authorities, they, they searched the bunker and, and found poor Nora floating in one of the flooded passages. She had a real talent for music. Folks say they, they still hear her singing in the nursing home. Nowadays, teens think the bunker is haunted. Might be. That doesn't stop them from going there. Wouldn't stop me. The police have tried to lock it up, but you know young people, they're persistent. And stupid. Now, as for myself, an impartial journalist, I have lived here at the Valhalla Nursing Home for five years. And in that time, I have never heard Norris sing. Just the humming of a certain neighbor of mine who has an inexplicable love for Finnish tango. I think he's talking about Ai. Are, are you done? I'm gonna rummage through your stuff. Nothing. Lame. Hey, what's going on? Got a nice setup here, buddy. I am stealing your stuff directly in front of you. Try and stop me. Um, recreation room. 
Ooh, not bad. Oh, safe spot. Cool. Um, and we got ah, okay. <gasps> Another deer. On greener pastures now. Didn't even have to put a basket on his head. Why would I? And he's old. He doesn't. He doesn't even notice these things. How many more of these things do I have? Just four. I think it might be four. Four remaining. There's four more of these deer, these bucks out there in the world. Lose the glass. Damn it, no needle. All right, fine. It's still fifty-seven. No needle. Um, Tor. This is Tor's room. Meh, not bad. Here we go. Moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? Mm -mm, probably not. This place is a mess. Shut it off! Shut it off! You have no idea how loud I have the audio for this game. And how loud. I mean, this game is super, super quiet. I have to jack the audio up so much. Okay. All right, I'm drinking, Spooky. I'm drinking. Mm. Okay. Spooky, the audio was so low. The audio was so low in this game. That was... That was deafening. Thank you for that. Thank you so much for that. Wait, what can I say? I mean, I could say a lot of things. I could say a lot of things that aren't fit for the... Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? So that woman in the painting looks like mom. Okay. Was I born here? Uh. Or is this more of the story. Probably more of the story. All right. I I I'm not I'm not talking to Tor just yet. Um. Spooky. Oh hi. Bye, Spooky. Well, she'll be back. She's just got to take a massive poo. And for some reason, she thought it was very important that she tells the rest of us that. Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room yep. you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? No, but you know what you see me? Robbing you. Sorry. Don't mind me. I'm just robbing you. I have to start over. Oh, well, that's a real shame. You don't have a lot of time left. Hmm. Well, better get to it then. Um and I guess talk to Tor before I go up to the third floor. Hey buddy, what's this? Uh, the Sea of the Night. To drink from the cup of the wise one for wisdom to be a seer. I gave up my eye. In the light of the moon to shine and see the many worlds to madness and beyond. Across the dark dreaming sea, the branching paths up the tree. I gave up my eye so many times. We have lived and died and been reborn. We have met here before and we and will keep on being still. Uh, where did I put the eye? Before time, I gave it to Mimir to drink from the Well of Wisdom, the Cauldron. 1976. I took it out myself to see, drank the moonshine. 1988. He who stands on the threshold took it from me. The time will come again to be... To be... Right? Bit again? Can you hear me, Odin? Um, Odin Addison, can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? What are you? What are you pointing at? Is it something on the wall over here? 
Totally. I'm like, whoa, what was that? He's in no shape to talk. Okay. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga, dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? You're an old man now. It wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. That's kind of weird. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? That was weird. Uh, yeah, it's it's very heavily. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Uh, a lot of the um, elements of control have bled into this one. I mean, again, because you, you can tell that this is a game that was developed after they made Control. A lot of lessons that Remedy had from Alan Wake 1 came into Control. A lot of the lessons and game mechanics that they implemented in Control have evolved and moved into Alan Wake 2. If they make Control 2 after this game, a lot of what you see here in Alan Wake 2 are going to go over into Control 2 as well. I, I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy, but we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years, but we already have our band, and those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. Well, I mean, there is. If you played the first game, you know there is something special about them. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Well, it would make a lot more sense about why you're able to jump to these conclusions. One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. Okay. So is Alan dead? Spoilers. Spoiler. Spoilers, Laos. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. He's talking about his pee pee. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Uh, Is Tor becoming taken? Um. I need to find him before it's too late. Maybe he's telling you to watch the John Carpenter movie. I mean, again, I'm getting a lot of references and connections to John Carpenter's In the Mouth of Madness. Why not John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness? I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. 
You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. Okay. So... Uh, camps up by... Brightfoot... Wait. Uh, what did that say? Oh, well, it's this one. Okay. Oh, wow, there's only four more. And three more of that. I missed. Wait. Uh, well, that, that, that was a little off. Um, we still got some more cases. The Anderson... Uh, that, 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 just, just do this. Okay. The clicker is an amplifier. Uh, what do you know about touring about the clicker? Okay. Uh, aren't art like Wake's trap? There we are. And then we've got. The oh. Clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. Okay. Um, look for Tar in his room. He is in danger. Bad things are being well. Is Tor okay? Uh, Tor's bedroom has been trashed. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. Tor has some kind of accident. Oh, this isn't slipping upstairs. Rose. Tor and Odin are resting and can't have guests. Okay, and then we got Fact or Fiction. I never watched that show. Painting of Mom and I with Odin Tor in Odin's room. Uh, my life in Watery? Which part of the story? Which parts of the false which remember any? Nope, not that. <clears throat> Connection to Tor and Odin? Yeah, that one. And then we got Cult of the Tree. Well, the cult has been trying to recruit them for years. Okay, cult working on something. Our goal... Uh, this one? Yep. Not cult members. Okay, well, we haven't good for them. And then we got... I'm still not ready for that. Okay. Uh, pickup truck outside Bright Falls. Bright Falls area. And there you go. And then outside Bright Falls, there you go. Oh, the story. It's the same one. Okay. Uh, Alex Casey locks boxes. As the knit design, I've been finding by the lunch boxes. Oh, really? Oh, well, who left these? And then there's some on the Bright Homes. Okay, and then we do this one. All right, is that it? That's it, okay. And then we got the map. Okay. Okay. Sorry about shining this light directly in your eyes. You've only got one good one anyway, so it's fine. that now hey it's the spiral should I worry about that getting in is forbidden for your own safety time is long for those who wait but in the end stand the depths sheesh <laughs> didn't see you there I'm uh, still gonna try and open up every single door I can Yeah, okay, alright. Here's Mandy's room. Here's all the crap I've been finding. Um. Uh huh.
and we got okay it's a nice room and then we got Cynthia I don't have the key well that's a real shame okay hmm talk to Rose all right get back down okay I've been all over the place talk to Rose again accuse her for accuse her of all sorts of nefarious things I suppose Tor's in the wellness center isn't he no he's well yes but you really shouldn't go in there right now I'm gonna need you to unlock the door this is FBI business but it's just there's some things that uh <sighs> Yes, okay. I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Hey, Augie. So, teleportation down here, huh? Can I talk to her? The wellness center. What in the world? Why is it all dark in the wellness center? Watch out. For puddles. For you can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Is it the same Rose? Wait, I gotta double check this because I don't remember. Um, Rose, Rose is the girl from the first game. Wait, let me see something here. Uh, Alan Wake won uh, Rose? No, was it um, uh, Diner Girl? Was, what was her name? Diner Girl name? Is a major character in both Bright Falls uh, and Dear Dan Bright Falls and one and Gary. Okay, so yeah, so it is it is Rose. So she 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 is the she is the um she is the the waitress the diner girl from the first one. I I wasn't expecting her to have like such a good head. I mean, she's acting weird, but at the end of the first one, she was like downright like going on close to kooky, kooky crazy. I thought I thought that's what I was getting. I need bolt cutters. Okay, well I'm hoping that I get these bolt cutters in this in this area, because I've needed bolt cutters for a while, a gosh darn while. Uh, interesting that it um made that little musical cue. Dark, empty. Just, ready, Saga. just like my heart. Um. So. Is th is this whole place just for those people, like those five or six people in that in that in that house? Because this is a pretty big um. Like wellness center. I don't think that's Tor. Just getting ready. <laughs> Looking around. Grabbing items. Grabbing all the items. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Did I, did I knock that over or? Hum. Okay, I'm in the light. That's good. What do I have here? D oh, oh, what in the world? Collect. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Okay. Why? Yeah. Let's see. Um. Tor was here. 
Okay, Doc. Rose and me found Mr. Anderson knocked out on floor by foam. Burns on hand and cut on head. Was out cold, so brought him here. Been acting strange all week. Take good care. He is VIP. Okay. Um, do I follow the bandages? Is that the idea? Can't be opened on this side. Well, that's a real shame. Nothing. Shoot him in the butt! Shoot him in the butt! It's me. Now oh, look at that in a minute. Show me.